This is day four. It was cold this morning. Pretty sure it was at least below freezing for a little bit. There was a lot of frost around and stuff. And there was a group of crows that was kind enough to wake me up, like 6.30, calling at who knows what. So, got a good early start. I'm gonna make my way to Argyle. Uh, probably stop at the hitch rail, try and get some more charge on my phone, and then see how far I want to make it today. <clears throat> the, uh, I guess the trail is closed south of like mile 15, I think, because uh, of a bridge that's out. So, might need to make some extra time today to allow for a, a longer road walk tomorrow. See it zoomed in this far, but there's a super chunky fox. Oh, there he moves. It was just close to the trail and scampered off when I got close. Maybe he'll move. Maybe not. Yeah, it's like right. Looking at me. I don't know what the heck I'm doing out in the cold. The chunky boy has been eating well. Hey, I was wondering if I'd see some buffalo. They got some babies with them too. Cool. One thing I haven't been a huge fan of is Trail's never too far from a road. Yeah. It's up near the first half of it. Uh, I got away from the road for a bit, but you can still kind of hear things. And I've been walking next to this road for like two, two and a half miles. Just the noise is bleh. But uh, it doesn't make sense. It's an old railroad. You gotta keep the infrastructure together, I guess. I still wish it wasn't so noisy. All right, I am officially tagging out. It's a long story while well, I'm here after dark, but maybe I'll record an update later. So my phone died the last day of the Georgia's Mickelson Trail. Um, right now I'm in Yosemite, trying to get the fall colors here, but uh, thought I'd share what happened on the last day, really. So my phone died, uh, just a combination of using it too much and um, the outlets, uh, for whatever reason, along the trail. Um, they were charging my phone super slow, so I was only able to get like 25% of a charge, which wasn't great. Um, so anyway, didn't have my phone for the whole last day, and uh, the last part of the trail, there's not a ton of national forest land. Um, so I had a map, and I had kind of memorized in my head where the uh, national forest land, and the reason that's important is because that's the only place you can camp along the trail. And I couldn't find it. it wasn't really marked that well. So I just kind of kept walking. And then I got to, I think, mile 14. And the rest of the trail was closed, which I knew there was a chance of. 
I'd heard uh, a couple of rumors that it might have been actually open, but it was closed. So my options were um, camp illegally, uh, wait at the trailhead to see if somebody would happen by to give me a ride, um, hitchhike, or roadwalk the rest of the, the way. Um, so none of them were really great options. So what I decided to do was roadwalk the rest of the way. There's a, a road that wasn't a main road. I think I probably ended up seeing like four or five cars along the way. So um, didn't feel too unsafe, but uh, yeah, I ended up doing 40 miles in one day and completing the trail in four days instead of five. So if you want my pro tip, uh, don't do that. My joints and feet and just about everything was sore at the end of it. Uh, but I made it, got back into town right about dark, drove a little bit, uh, slept at a rest area in my car, and then, yeah, made it the rest of the way home. So, definitely learned a lot uh, as far as, like, long-term, or, uh, yeah, long-distance through hiking went, which was just kind of practice for. Uh, got a couple bits of gear that I want to replace. Um... I think I've got a different strategy for managing my phone battery next time around. So, yeah. You know, overall, it was a it was a great trail. So, as I'm sure you saw, the fall colors were absolutely gorgeous. Um, the trail was in great shape. Really no, uh, no complaints. And now I'm just enjoying my time up here in Yosemite, in Mariposa Grove. It's open for the first time. Uh, Two or three years, I think. So, yeah, it smells great.